We'll need to search the whole house to find the safe. To do so, we're gonna have to play the game. I shaved during the opening credits there. Braid is a movie. Wait, let me take that back. Braid is drug trip anxiety given visual form. It's directed by Mitzi Peyron. It stars Madeline Brewer, Imogen Waterhouse, and Sarah Hay. And it tells the story of two drug dealer friends, Petula and Tilda, who in an attempt to rob their wealthy but very mentally ill friend Daphne, are forced to act alongside her in a really twisted game of house. And what follows is 80 minutes of lavish colors and insane camera work and some of the most anxiety-inducing storytelling I've seen in a hot minute. When I say I want more horror films directed by female directors, this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Holy shit. This is the kind of confident, unapologetically insane shit I want more of in 2019. I really can't wait to see what Mitzi Peron does next because so far this year, this is the movie to beat. Where Braid ultimately succeeds is in its absolutely insane presentation. This is, as far as I know, Peron's first feature film, and as far as directorial debuts go, this is one of the most adventurous I've ever seen. From its hallucinatory uses of blues and magentas, to its shaky, jarringly unconventional cinematography, to its incredibly frenetic, quick-cutting editing. I've, I've never seen a first feature go in directions this bold, and I fucking loved it. Honestly, from the first frame, this movie puts you on edge, and it just never really stops from there. The jarring quick cuts, the shaky cocaine-fueled camera movements, the really shallow, hazy depth of field, it all makes you feel like you're high. It leaves you feeling like you're teetering on the edge of a cliff, and by the time shit really gets crazy and they start playing the game, you're just shoved off the edge of that cliff and the rest of the film is you falling endlessly, terrified, but also super appreciating the wonderful visuals around you. And it is absolutely gorgeous on the way down. And speaking of gorgeous, I want to take a moment to talk about the production design in this movie because... Y'all... <laughs> My god, the sets in this film are so gorgeous, I want to cry. To my knowledge, they shot this at an actual manor in Yonkers. And it's it's so beautiful, and the set deck and the art direction are so on point that every single frame of this film feels like something you could screen grab and print and put in a picture frame on your wall. There are a couple shots that really, to me, felt like Wes Anderson on high doses of LSD, and that's amazing. <laughs> And that's kind of the best way to summarize this movie, is just a fucking drug trip. And it's so rad. Now let's talk about the game itself. You've got Madeline Brewer as Daphne, the stand-in mother in this whole messed up game of house. And you're never quite sure when she's going to snap. You don't know what she's going to do, because she starts off sweet and nurturing, and then the next second, at the drop of a hat, she'll be coming after Tilda with a pair of scissors trying to clip her long, dirty fingernails, and she's coming at her fingers with a fucking set of scissors, and it's terrifying. She's deranged to the point of being completely unpredictable, and that makes her scary. And it really just solidifies Madeline Brewer, fresh off cam, as one of the best actresses working in horror today. Because again, she completely loses herself in this role. Daphne's game only has three rules. Rule number one, everyone must play. Rule number two, no outsiders allowed. Rule number three, nobody leaves. And throughout the movie, you find out the consequences of breaking each of those rules. And they're disturbing. <laughs> and you realize this is the kind of game where anything can happen around the point where Dr. Petula brings out a fucking meat tenderizer and brings it down on daughter Tilda's knee as a reflex test. And it's all down the rabbit hole from there. <laughs> and the further down you go, the more insane things get. Tilda and Petula are bound and gagged with an incredibly long braid of hair, hence the title. There's an exceptionally brutal, nightmarish, upside-down shot involving a straight razor. And it all leads up to an ending that I do believe will probably turn some people off to the film, but me personally, I loved it. Braid has the kind of ending that is definitely ambiguous and leaves a lot up to interpretation. But it's one that I feel rewards the viewer overall for the punishing experience of the preceding hour. And that's not to say punishing in a bad way, it's just a lot. <laughs> but if you're sitting wondering where is this film going, the ending definitely answers that question for you. And depending on how you view it, everything that came before it makes a lot more sense in hindsight. And while I don't necessarily know what the correct interpretation of this film is, if there even is one, I have several. I think that all of them work really well in conjunction with the themes of this film. I don't want to go too deep into the ideas this film presents at risk of spoiling it, but I think that at its core, Braid is a functionally beautiful exploration of madness and escapism, and how easy it is for those two things to become intertwined, quite like a braid. It's a beautiful dive into the insane, scary things that people will do for a sense of belonging and security. 
and it's one that makes you as a viewer feel fucking insane. I can easily see some people not connecting to or not knowing what to make of the ending, but that was one of the strongest things about this film for me. By the end, you're just as unsure as the characters what's fantasy and what's reality and what's really been going on this whole time. And I couldn't think of a better way for this film to have wrapped up. All in all, I fucking loved Braid. It's an unnerving psychedelic head trip of a movie with some absolutely stunning visuals, a gorgeous color palette, and easily some of the most anxiety-inducing sequences I've seen in a film since Hereditary. It's a terrifying drug-fueled trip through insanity, and by the end it leaves you feeling as unstable as the girls in question. And I'm gonna say that Braid is absolutely a must-see. It's unapologetically crazy, and it's confident in that fact, and as a feature film debut, it's beyond impressive. I really, I can't wait to see what Mitzi Perron does next because she impressed the hell out of me with this one. She won me over. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. There's a Patreon link down in the description if you want to support this channel and help us grow and make new better content for you all to enjoy. Please consider donating guys. Even a dollar helps, but even if you don't, thank you so much for watching anyway and I will see you all very soon.